Put something on you so cold, man. It's the finest thing walking. Finest thing walking. Let me tap my boy in it. Yo, 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 big traffic, big slide, and what up to the creek, man. Hey, I'm finna put something on you so cold, man. You already know how I'm coming, man. Big truth, big facts, nonetheless. Uh, so there, I hear, I hear this a lot. I hear this a lot. It's so crazy. Mainly from, uh, so-called black women or whatever the case is. Yeah, y'all, y'all, uh, uh, y'all don't mind my nose hairs. I know in the last few videos I done did, fam, my nose hair been looking crazy. I'm, I'm gonna get that taken care of, but I never really liked it even shaving my nose hairs like that. Uh, little Milf Cougar shorty I was fucking with, insane bitch. Um, what's it called? She, um, she always tell me, like, Shave your uh your nose here. Shave your, your uh trim your nose here. This and that, this and that. But I never did though, cause it's like I just like being natural. Everything I like doing, I like being natural. So my nose hairs grow like that. You know, I was leaving it natural. That's why I always used to have that bushy ass mustache too. I mean, I trim it down now and shit. But that's why I always like doing that too, cause you know I like keeping it natural. You feel me? And then on top of that, it's a reason why them nose hairs is there. Then you wondering why you always motherfucking sniffing and. and Motherfucking sneezing. Motherfucker always got stuff, you know. Motherfucker always sniffing all this extra shit, you feel me? And then motherfuckers wonder why they always getting sick. It's because you don't even got nose hairs right there. Blocking that, blocking all them pathogens and all that back, airborne bacteria, all that stuff. You ain't even got nothing, you know, catching that, you feel me? So that's why it's, it's able to enter in your body through your nostrils. And that's why you getting sick and that's why you... <laughs> Sniffing and always got stuffy nose and always coughing and all that other shit. You feel me? Because you 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 trimming them nose here. That that's the first line of defense for uh, airborne pathogens and bacteria getting into your nostrils. You feel me? That's that's like your only defense really protecting your nose. You feel me when it come down to that? So that's why I never really fuck with it. But now it's really like coming out of my nose. Like it, I guess it's been coming out, and that's what she been trying to tell me. But it's really, really hanging out now, and they gotta go because it be looking like a booger on camera. Cause you know I got all that, all that melanin in my hair. You feel me? So it shine. You feel me? When when the sun and out, when the sun is out, it shine, and then make it look like it's a booger in my nose. But all the time it ain't even no booger. You feel me? But that ain't even what I wanted to come talk about. Like for real though. Like I'm just talking about some whole other stuff. What I wanted to come talk about is um. Basically, uh, you know, a lot of black women, they talking about, oh, white women taking all the good black men. White women taking all the good black, that, that's why all these women saying, white women taking all the good black men. Or, or, and, and a lot of black women, they not even just saying white women, they saying everybody taking all the good black men, you feel me? So let's sit here and really think about why. Let's dissect why. Why is this, ha why is this a trend? You feel me on some real stuff? Why is this a trend? Because, you know, a lot of these so-called black women, they got such a big ego, such a big ego for no reason. Like, they prideful when they even, they shouldn't be like, how's you so, how's your hair so big and that's not even your real hair? That's not your real nails. That's not your real eyelashes. That's not your real eyebrows. That's not your real eyes. Nothing about you is real. How the fuck is you so big-headed, you feel me? Like, real shit, you feel me? And that, that's how I Get up in this little wash right here, you hear me? But yeah, though, so it's just like, how's you so prideful? Like, I, I just don't even understand. So, um, yeah, um, so the issue is, oh, uh, black, black men, they swirling, they being with other people besides black women, this and that, they, they, this and that, they trading, they this and that, but you gotta think, they, they been traded. They been turned their back on us. They been turned their back on us. Like, real stuff, bro. Um, <clears throat> all right, I don't need them, man. I don't need no nigga this and that, this and that. The way they act, their attitude, this and that. So, y'all saying, why is all the other women taking the black man? Why is the white women taking the black man? Let's see the difference between y'all and the other women, bro. Like, real stuff. Let, let's be honest. Let's let's talk about the facts. We we gotta talk about the facts on some real stuff. 
Now, if we ask everybody in the world, to be honest, who is the most masculine acting woman? You feel me? Who's the most masculine acting woman? Who are they going to say? Who's the woman that acts the most like a man? Who are they going to say? I'll wait. Oh, yeah, by the way, you know. Big wash, big wash, big wash. This ain't, hey, when I get the Corvette, this ain't never going to happen. I ain't never going through no automatic wash. It's all hand wash. And I'm going to hand wash my shit every day, even if I ain't driving. Fuck it, just cause. You feel me? Yes, yeah, so big charger. Big charger stuff, you feel me? But yeah, though, so it's just like, who's the most masculine acting woman, bro? Like, real stuff. And me to be a man, fam. And me to be somebody who's supposed to be acting masculine, you feel me? Oh, snap. Hold on, y'all. I got to disconnect from the car, bro. I hate when I'm connected to the car because it make the volume sound bogus, bro. Hopefully that don't mess up my lips and the sound. Usually when you disconnect from the car and stuff, it, it make the sound get all up. I didn't want to be connected to the car because it sound weird on video and stuff like that. I don't like making videos like that. But yeah, if I'm supposed to be a, as, as manly as possible, if I'm supposed to stay in my masculine energy as much as possible, how can I do it around a woman that's acting masculine too? That's not, there's no balance in that, bro. Me being masculine, or very masculine, I need to be around somebody that's very feminine, you feel me, on some real shit. That's why I feel like, man, even being with some of these these bitches out here, fam, that act all masculine and all that stuff, for, for you to be with them, you almost damn near gotta be, like, some type of, like, like gay or something, bro. Like, real stuff, because it's like, if, if you so masculine and I'm so masculine, what is we doing together? Like, like real stuff, bro, like, <laughs> like for real like I'm not rocking like that like I'm just not rocking like that at all you feel me but yeah um back up in this spot right here dry her off you hear it? but yeah they they like why oh they taking all the good black man this and that this and that exactly and why is that that should be telling y'all something that should be a wake up call for all these so called black women out here that, that got an issue with black men dealing with all these different women. You need to really start looking at yourself. You need to really start looking in the mirror. And even if you ain't one of them ratchet hoes out here, you feel me? Because you know that's all we really got to deal with. That That's that's the majority of the women we get to choose from around here in the Midwest, you feel me? When it comes down to so-called black women. It, hood, ghetto, acting that bitch. Even if they wasn't even born in the hood, that's just the trend to act like a ratchet ass, you know, motherfucker. But yeah, man, like, look, even if you not one of those type of girls, you still got to recognize what's going on out here. You still got to be honest with yourself. You see what's going on out here. Real stuff. You see what's going on out here. And if you really want to be a real honest woman, you see what's going on. These women, they're bucking up. They're not on your team. Like real shit. Like fam, Y'all got to remember, like, marriages originally, for one, in the Bible, when you have sex with a woman, that becomes your wife. Like, real stuff. Ain't wasn't no, oh, you put a ring on her finger and propose. There wasn't none of that. You feel me? When you, damn, man, that stuck in my eye. When you have sex with a woman, that officially becomes your wife. You feel me? Like, on some real stuff. And you, you even got to look at it like this. Marriage traditionally was not because of love. It was not because of, oh, I love her. We're going to get married. This and that, this and that. After y'all done already been together for so and so many years, y'all already been freaking, whatever the case. No, it wasn't that. Marriage was more for like power, for resources, for, you know, business moves, for partnerships. Like, I, right, her father is blah, blah, blah. You know, he owns all this land, blah, blah, blah. I'm finna get with her. You know, he finna end up giving us some of this land, this and that. We're gonna farm that land, this and that, this and that. I got this other wife, you feel me, blah, blah, blah. We, we, me and her, she come out here in the field with me and we, blah, you know, you know, it was, it was for, for resources. It was for, it was for business. Like, yeah, I need this wife because she's a good cook, you feel me? So she makes sure all of us stay fed, you feel me? This and that, this, you feel me? Like, it was, it was for more, it was for more maneuvering, for finessing, you feel me? Like, like for, for, for just, 
getting the best outcome, best potential out of life you could. You feel me? Like, okay. And I need her because she's real pretty. She's young. She's fertile. I need I need to push out some more kids. You feel me? And she finna push some kids out for me. You feel me? It was more like for that. It was for, for business. You feel me? It was more of a partnership. Like, hey, look. Hey, shorty, I'm finna give you this home. I'm finna, uh, you know, bring the resources for you to, to you know, live good, whatever the case is. You just need to pop out these kids for me, teach them and raise them for me, this and that, this and that. You know, it was stuff like that. So that's how you got to look at it, fam. You, you, these, these women come around and they start demanding shit. Like, I need this and I need that and I need it. And if you love me and if you love me, man, I'm at the point where it's like, fuck all that love shit, bro. Real shit. I rather I rather somebody respect me before they love me. Cause how many of these girls talking about they love blah 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 and they love so and so, but you know they they cheating and you know they low key messing around with so and so on the side. You feel me? Like, come on, man. So fuck all that love shit. Cause I man, people tell me all the time. I hear all these stories about married people, fam. I'm talking about dudes be busting their ass, working overtime, working all these extra hours, and the woman got a problem with that. She'd be like, man, it's like I never see them. It's, it, you know, it's just not the same. And they'll be fucking around with somebody on the side, bro. Like, real shit. Like, this is really happening. Where I'm at. Like, this shit crazy, bro. So, it's just like, man, I ain't trying to hear all that motherfucking love shit. I'd rather a motherfucker respect me before anything. Like, real shit, fam. If a motherfucker respect you, then that that's where you can get somewhere on some real shit. All that love shit, folks, that if people throw that motherfucking word around like it's none. But they say they love you, but then one day they, they, but then the next day they hate you. Like, type shit like that. Like, come on, man. But anyways, yeah, like, you black women, fam, you need to start taking notes on what these other women doing. They staying more in their feminine energy. They being more feminine. They being more agreeable. And all this shit that you say make them a weak motherfucker, obviously not, because they can keep their man and you can't, so... Who's the weak motherfucker? Why they why they becoming even more powerful because they they putting their resources together, you feel me? They coupling up or whatever the case is, they bringing it all together, putting it in the same pot. You over there you still standing on this independent, independent ass movement. Like, come on, man, that didn't that shit not flying nowhere now. We seeing where that ended up. Now we're finally getting to see the results of that shit. As the the generation that really started that shit, they getting up into their fifties, forties, and uh, late thirties. The generation that really pushed all the independent woman. And I don't need no nigga. All that they getting up into their fifties, forties, and, and they they in their late thirty right now. We starting to see the results of all that shit. They lonely, they miserable, they unhappy. And they looking for love. And now it's too fucking late. Like, you didn't hit the wall. Ain't nobody really finna take you serious on some real shit. You done had kids already. You didn't hit the You don't look none like how you looked when you was 20 years old. You feel me? On some real shit. You out of shape. All type of shit. And you you most likely got motherfucking uh, psychological issues. You most likely got some type of mental illness or something. Which is why... To why, Which is why you still by your motherfucking self. Why didn't nobody ever pick you up? Why didn't nobody ever fucking keep you around like real shit you obviously have some real fucking mental issues you need to motherfucking well at this point it's probably no point of return it get to a certain point in your life where there's a point of no return there really ain't no going back there really ain't no saving you on some real shit and it's just the reality of this shit so all you all you all you females better get your head out your ass because you females only got one thing bro on some real shit you females only got one thing over us males fam and that's youth. That's it. When you guys are in your youth, when you guys are young, yes, you have way more value than us. You have way more options than us. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can leave a nigga and you got 10 more niggas lined up in your inbox if you want that you can choose from. This and that. Yeah, you got all that, but that only lasts so long for y'all. And guess what? When y'all start coming down, we start coming up. You feel me? When y'all start passing y'all prime, when y'all start hitting the wall, when y'all didn't hit that peak and now y'all on the decline already damn near before y'all 30s already you feel me that's when a man start going into his prime in his late 20s you feel me real shit we start getting we start really going into our grown man mode at that point you feel me that's when we really become we start becoming valuable on some real shit bro so then that's when these women start realizing how valuable a man is this and that they get up in their 30s and shit they done been used up they done been ran through they got baby daddies tyrone and ray ray and all this extra shit and now fam you just unhappy miserable by your motherfucking self what happened to all that independent independent now she's talking about uh the right one's gonna come. When I find the right one, bitch, shut the fuck up. 
on the phone. And what you don't realize is God probably sent the right one to you a long time ago. And you probably fucked them over on some real shit, bro. And now this is the this is the price you pay on some real shit. So all this shit that y'all calling all these other bitches weak for, maybe y'all need to start doing it too it, it, so y'all can keep y'all man. Maybe y'all need to start trying to be more agreeable. Maybe y'all need to start trying to rock y'all natural looks more. You feel me? I want to... I. If if I like you, for I wanna always be around that girl that I I had that crush on. You feel me? Real shit. How the fuck you switching up every two weeks? Damn, bitch, you were just bad last week. Now this week you look like a whole different motherfucker. What happened to all that hair you had too? Like damn, what, who it, who are you? Like real shit. Y'all need to start embracing y'all natural shit. Stop letting society motherfucking uh, teach y'all to fry y'all shit. Put uh, relaxers, perms in it. All that y'all gotta cut that shit out. Real shit, fam. Be you. On some real shit Stop letting society Fucking break you down So bad Stop letting society Lead you astray Letting society Think that Because you a black woman You need to act like A strong black woman That don't need nobody else I can do it all by myself Y'all mamas Sent y'all to fuck off You feel me Y'all need to pay more attention To y'all grandma Some of y'all grandma Because some of y'all Still got some hoe ass grandmas too Y'all need to pay attention To y'all grandmas Y'all great grandparents You feel me You see how your grandma Stay with her grandpa They whole life And he didn't cheated or whatever and all this other shit but they stayed together didn't they on some real shit bro y'all need to learn from them because our mama's folks sent y'all to fuck off talking about all this and this strong woman i don't need nothing they sent y'all bitches to fuck off and now look at y'all like real shit maybe you should start trying to be more agreeable maybe you should start trying to be more submissive you feel me maybe you should start trying to trying to go that extra mile just to always make sure he good make sure he comfortable you good babe you need anything this and that you know, uh, how it's worked, you know, anything, bro, make sure a motherfucker good, you need me to cook you something, you need me to do this, you need me to rub your butt, you know, just that, all that little shit that really go far with a man, bro, on some real shit, fam, motherfuckers better get that shit right, cause man waking back up, fam, and we, 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 once again, realizing that we are the trophies, we are the prize around this bitch, it's less of us than y'all at that, you feel me, real shit, especially if you a so-called black man, we are like gold, we're rare, we're the, we're more rare than any other man in, on this planet, bro. Real shit, fam. The black man, the, the Israelite man. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. So it's like, man, um, y'all y'all got to get it together. Y'all need to start uh, taking notes from these other women out here. And, and maybe, fam, a motherfucker want to keep your ass around, bro. On some real shit. All that attitude, all that getting loud and uh, them days is over with. Real shit. We over that. Stop it. Knock it off. Real shit.